uh, we have a IO pack sachet machine made with a high bar piston filler and a Macum uh, thermal transfer printer. In here we have the screen control for all the um, function we'll go into it later um, temperature control for the jaw section uh, safety reset emergency stop and isolator up the top we have the Markham printer which has got its own screen and for setup and the layout of the print can be done on the computer and then transfer via a USB into this printer for basically selection for different uh, print format into the film. Here we've got the print head that do the thermal transfer. Uh, we will go into it later. On the top is the film and the film pattern and the unwinding can be seen with this diagram. Here we have the high bar, high position piston filler with the product hopper, the filler head and the nozzle. This is the inside of the bagger. We have the chart recorder for the jaw temperature that's still to be mounted and the position still to be designed in the next day or two, but that will be mounted before we dispatch. The man camp motor. We also have the salvo motor or step motor for the film dry and the cam setting inside for start stop position and generally you do not need to be changing the cam position in that machine as preset in the factory the machine require a uh, compressed air at six bar as the air inlet and the power is a single phase uh, 230 volt. Um, the main air is for the piston filler and also for the Markham printer. In general, you set the air to 4 bars air pressure. Uh, machine is fully guarded with safety interlock to category 3 so we have a safety interlock for the front of the machine we also have safety interlock in the um, chassis of the machine in both the door This is the general screen layout when you switch on the machine. You have the home. That gives you the counter, how many bags it's been doing, the back link that you can set to different back link by Um, 
back pull speed, so that's a step motor speed. Uh, pull back delay, uh, that's the function for pulling and filling. Machine running frequency, that is the speed of the machine, how many back per minute that changing the frequency of the main drive motor. That just a display for how many back per minute and then a start stop buttons in here. You can save the recipe on program 1 to 20 on the screen. Next is a function screen that you can switch on the heater, switch on the photo sensor if you're doing a register print back, the iMark. You can switch on the piston pump, pump uh, and then there's an optional um, item for the stir out for the hopper which is not including in this machine. Uh, the batch counter that is in the home screen that way you see you can enable or disable the batch counter. And then there is a parameter setting. You can copy the program, change the password, the filling delay, the printer delay, um, the iMark delay, which if when you enable the iMark sensor, the batch counter to basically you can put in to basically to fill to how many back the machine will automatically stop and then you have to press restart. Uh, here we've got the menu operation that you can basically inch the machine, um, pull the back, um, run the jaw in a bit of reverse, uh, do a single back um, fill and cut in the I.O. It will give you all the I.O. setting that's more of for um, maintenance and fault finding. And then we have the alarm message just showing you what is the state of the machine if you do have alarms and then the home screen. For setting up the uh, print position and if you're doing register print, the iMark position, this front roller to set the print position which means where in the film that this will be printed at. Um, this roller adjusts where the eye mark cutting position and if you want to move the eye mark forward or backward by moving this this position that will basically changing where the cutting position is. For getting a nice even stress on the bag, we do have a small adjustment in the format that can move in and out in here. Uh, the main idea is to have the roller vertically mounted with the um, forming collar so it does not create any quiz onto the bags. This is very important for a thick aluminium foil. It's important in this area we don't have the film that rub too tight onto the filling nozzle that create any pinch point or quiz like that on the film. For the high bar filler, we have four uh, adjustment point. The main one of this one is for adjusting the volume. This two is to adjust the speed of um, the pump. The fun one for pushing out. The back one for sucking product in. Um, and then we have the nozzle um, shut off that this adjust how far the nozzle gets shut off and open we suggest um, 
keep the values in it and record that value and do not need to be changed for the current setup. Now this too is important, really depend on the velocity of your product. Uh, for a high velocity product, you might have to slow down the pump position, um, filling and dosing speed. To change the film, normally we would um, cut the film in here and join with a sticky tape. But if we do run our film uh, without changing it in there, um, the film needs to be threaded through as um, this schematic diagram. Also, please note that in this diagram that is do not including the printer which is added on after the machine been made so for the printer we actually uh, take it in from this roller go into the printer then coming back out In the case of uh, you run out film and you need to thread it through from the beginning, basically you go through the film, through the sassy or the roller, through the um, collar, open the dry wheel, you can put the film all the way down and using this to uh, will basically to dry the film down and close it which is spring loaded on the chassis of the machine here we have the horizontal jaw mechanism the two jaw plus the knife in between the knife is spring loaded the sealing mechanism is done by the cam in the back of the chassis. The vertical sealing also is done on the cam on the chassis. The dry down roller is spring loaded on the back of the chassis. So if you start losing traction, um, the first thing to do is clean the two roller with alcohol or tartan. Then the next thing to do is check the spring in the back of the machine that is have enough tension. Inside the chassis, we have that's the cam for the vertical jaw. That's the spring to keep it open. That's the spring that for the joint wheel. Plus. In the bottom here, that's the spring for the opening of the horizontal jaw, the cam that follow up to close the horizontal jaw. Okay. Now we're going to demonstrate how to start the machine. Press the reset button. Now we're going to demonstrate how to feed to change the film from beginning. First we cut the film in a little V shape. This will allow the film to be go through the machine lock simpler in the collar.
to go to the first roller to the punter. It's past the punter underneath the rubber pad. And go back into the second, second roller and then follow the pattern on the unwinding. Now with the point TV, you can see it feed through the collar. This actually go through lots easier with the point rather than the full width. Open the, uh, open the, the wheel. dry wheel and feed it through. Just be cautioned, the jaw is very hot at 100 degrees, so don't touch the vertical jaw. Now close the dry wheel, close the door, reset, safety, and go into menu mode. And go one back. What you just saw there is the film is not feeding through properly. The reason for that is the film dancing roller is right about the two sensor to drive the film unrolling motor. So what you do is basically pull this out and have the dancing roller go under the first sensor now we try to open the roller and dry the film through again a little bit reset now we're feeding the film correctly So it's important to have this dancing roller running in between these two center. This will give you a nice tension, a nice feet on the bag. General maintenance of the machine would normally recommend to daily check on the jaw and make sure the jaws vertical and horizontal jaw are clean, the dry wheel are clean. I would recommend cleaning with alcohol daily. Inside the machine, we recommend monthly check of the machine, just a drop of oil on the bearing, um, bit of grease 
on the chain manually um, that's all you need to do for basically general maintenance of the machine for emptying the piston filler okay first of all we lose this nut And we slide a little bit back. We lose this clamp. Just lose a little bit. So that can turn. And we have the pipe to get out. Gentle and blow it. And after that we can remove and dismount to clean up all the pump. It's very important don't move this position because it's all the stuff of the, the, the film and uh, how will be bent, seal and cut. So that is already set up. There is mark almost everywhere. So if you lose the position, there is mark for the original position. And uh, to put it back again, we have a little bit manually. We keep the position and we push in. So this is already in the perfect length. So that is your perfect position. That is a fixed position, and uh, yeah, you can make a mistake. Just put it on and tie it again. The bolt, the nut. What we're going to show you now is how to change the ribbon on the punta. The handle underneath. Just lose the handle, remove a little bit backward the printer. We open this lock and push out in this way. Now we have the unwinding or winding diagram of the ribbon. The ribbon can be available through Markham UK.